Right, today we're going to be looking at the use of partial fractions in integration. So let's consider this integral. Um, <coughs> 2 over x squared minus 1 dx. Now this looks very much like what we've been doing previously when we were looking at integrals of, of the form 1 over x squared plus a squared dx being equal to 1 over a tan, inverse of tan, x over a plus c. But when we come into a problem here. We've got minus 1 is our a squared. And we can't have minus 1 being a squared. Um, because minus 1 times minus 1 is positive 1. So, so that doesn't work. Um, so we need a new way of doing this. It looks so like this form, but in fact, we come up to this problem. So how can we do this? Well, let's look at this function in a bit more detail. If you look at this, um, if you look at x squared minus 1, that can be written as x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. So we can factorise it. And then we've got a problem which we can solve using partial fractions. So let's redo, rewrite this and we will explore it using partial fractions. So let's just deal with the, 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 the formula first. So this is now 2 over x plus 1, x minus 1. And we, we know from our partial fractions, we can write this as big A over x plus 1 plus B over x minus 1. Multiply through by this, we'll get 2 is equal to A x minus 1 plus B x plus 1. <coughs> and now we're going to let x be 1, so we'll get 2 equal to 2b, so b equals um, 1, and we're going to let x equal to minus 1, so um, we'll get 2 equal to minus 2a, so a equals minus 1, and that then gives us um, we'll write this one first, 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1. And now we can integrate this. Uh, I'm going to get a new screen sheet up so that we don't run out of space. So 2 over x squared minus 1 dx will now become 1 over x minus 1 minus x over x plus 1 dx and this then just what we've been working out with our, our log this will be the log of the modulus of x minus 1 minus the log of x plus 1 plus c and we can rearrange that as the log of x minus 1 over x plus 1 and in our constant of integration. Let's do some more examples. So we want to find the integral of 3 minus x over x plus 1 x um, squared plus 3 dx. So first <coughs> let's take our fraction and turn it into partial partial fractions. And this one is going to be of the form of a over x plus 1 plus bx plus c over x squared plus 3. Multiplying through by this, we get 3 minus x, a x squared plus 3 plus bx x 
plus 1 plus c x plus 1. So let's first let x equal minus 1. That gets rid of these two. So that's going to give us 4 equals 1 plus 3 is 4 a, so a equals 1. Then we're going to let x equal 0 to get rid of this one. So we'll have 3 is equal to 3a plus c. Now we know a is 1, so that then leads us to c to be 0. And finally we'll let x equal 1. Um, so we'll have 2 and this will be 1 is going to be 4a plus b to b plus 2c this is going to be this is 0 this is just going to be 4 working out all the algebra we'll get b is equal to minus 1 so now we can rewrite this with our partial fraction. Now we don't have enough space, so I'm going to just rewrite it on a new slide. So that then gives us the integral 1 over 1 plus x minus x over x squared plus 3 actually but I mean, I'll just come back here and we'll just rewrite the I'll just quickly write the actual partial fraction here so we have a is 1 so we have 1 over x plus 1 b is minus 1 so it's going to be minus x that's 0 so over x squared plus 3 so that's where we get the thing we're going to be integrating So, that's where this comes from, <coughs> and now we can integrate. Um, so, we have the integral of 1 over x plus 1 dx minus... Um, x over x squared plus 3. <clears throat> now what we want to do here is we've got this 2, we've got x squared, so the we're going to have to take, um, I'll put an integral sign here, we're going to multiply that by 2, but then put a half here to get rid of that dx. And that then gives us the log of x plus 1 minus a half log x squared plus 3 plus c, c because if the, remember the, if this is f of x, f dashed of x would be 2x so we want the f dashed of x to be on the top so we put 2x up here but but to make that equal to this we need to take we need to divide 2 um, <coughs> so yeah and so that's that one let's do another type of partial and partial fraction so this is 9 over x plus 2 x minus 1 squared dx. Now let's look at this fr this um, fraction here. So this one is of the form a over x plus 2 plus b over x minus 1 plus c over x minus 1 squared. Multiplying through again we get 9 equal to a x minus 1 squared plus b x plus 2 x minus 1 plus c x plus 2. 
So, <coughs> let's do the easiest one first. X equals 1. So that gives us 9, and that's going to be 0. That's going to be 0, so it's just going to be 3 C, so C is going to be equal to 3. Next, let's x be minus 2. So again, we'll have 9. And that's going to be 0. That's going to be 0. So we'll have um, a, 9a. So a will be 1. And finally, let's let x equal 0. And that will give us 9 equals a minus 2b plus 2c. We know a is 1, we know c is 3, therefore b must be minus 1. <coughs> so our integral is now going to be, wait a minute, let's... We'll have to write this out again because I was right in here. So our integral will go a over x plus 2 minus 1 over x minus 1 plus 3 over x minus 1 squared dx. Um, so this gives us This is going to be the log of x plus 2 minus the log of x minus 1. Oh, it's meant to be a modulus sign. Oh, sorry. And then this bit here, well, what we can do with this bit here is we can do it as plus the integral of 3 x minus 1 to the minus 2 dx. Now this bit here will tidy this up to be the log of x plus 3 2 over x minus 1. And this then becomes the log of the, the integral of so this is going to be minus 3 equals 2 minus 2 add 1 is minus 1 times the 3 is minus 3 x minus 1 minus 1 oops plus c and we can rewrite that as minus 3 over x minus 1 plus our constant of integration. So I hope that makes sense.